what it'd be y'all um today i'm going thrift shopping i've already done it to be honest but i'm gonna try editing this video a little bit differently for y'all so i've already got the stuff here but i'm gonna put some footage in right about now Um, besides that though, we're actually going to be talking about everything I got here and I'm also going to be intercutting footage in of me actually finding some of the things that I bought today. So uh, let's get into the stuff. Okay, so one of the first things I found or I found was this Halloween, uh, this little print image. I thought it was really, really cool really love the art in it and it was already framed which is cool i think this was about five bucks yep so definitely gonna be taking off that price tag and uh at the end of this video i'll be showing y'all where i'm gonna be putting these things up actually um so yeah there's that i also got this little thing which i think is beautiful this little cat by the way i'll try and insert ebay prices in if i can find them if i can't uh i apologize i don't know uh, some things that i find just i can't find on ebay here and there I'll find something that's somewhat similar to it, but I just can't find it the exact same thing. So, so y'all know. Um, then there's this thing, which I thought was beautiful, which is this candle, but it has a little cat on top. It is not focusing. Sorry, folks. Here we go. There we go. Um, but I got this cat, which is actually a candle topper. He's got his little pumpkins here. He's got the freaking little witch hat, the little wand, little bat to the side. This thing is really not wanting to focus. There we go. All right, and it just has little bones on the side right there, right on the back. It's just kind of plain, obviously. This thing was 10 bucks, admittedly, a little overpriced, admittedly, but honestly, I was just so in love with this thing. I couldn't walk away from it, to be honest. And in case you didn't believe me, like I said, was 10 bucks. If it does happen to be worth less, I mean, it is what it is at the end of the day. And like I said, it is a candle, so. You know, if I wanted to, I could burn the, I could obviously light it up. I'm not sure if it has a scent to it. Matter of fact, let me try and maybe take a little sniff of it. Now, it doesn't seem to have any type of scent to it, so I probably won't burn it at all. Just because I already have so many Halloween decorations that light up that I don't think I'm going to need any more light sources. Especially for Halloween day, since I'm going to be throwing a little party with some of my friends. Kind of just a watch along, basically. Maybe having some other fun little things. Um, besides that, though, I also found... Um, by the way, I should I should be inserting the clips for me finding these things in between. So, sorry if it's weirdly edited since I didn't really give myself a point to be doing um, that. Besides that, though, I got these little decorations, $8 each. 
uh, for my Halloween tree, you have the witch and the ghost. Hopefully I insert me finding them right now. And uh, once again, I found these just at a random at the same thrift store of all of these other things that I've shown so far. And I thought these were really cute, uh, cute. And uh, there was more than one of these uh, ghosts, I think. But honestly, I just wanted one of them, especially I really thought this witch was really, really cool. I like her goofy little face with the buck teeth, almost like SpongeBob holding a little broom, too. And yeah, really cool that they're still in the packaging as well. Also, really, really love the packaging on these. Like, I, I love the packaging from back in the days, man. Like, they just don't do it as well as they used to, man. They knew what they was doing back in the days. I maybe put uh, some shots up at the end of the video of me hanging those up as well. Um, besides that, I think I got this for almost 75 cents because on... At this thrift store that I went to, basically, uh, every... There's a couple of different sections and it's more by people who, I guess, have stuff there that they're wanting to sell. And here and there, like their their just their section will have a sale, and this person had like a 75% off sale, and he had this, which was three dollars originally. So you know you do the 75% off, and that's I think it was 75 cents if I'm not wrong, and it's just this little boo sign. That this was really really cool, just says boo with the spider and the bat in between. Just thought it was really cool, and I thought I'd for sure stick it on the wall since I don't think I have enough. I have enough Halloween decor as far as like little ornaments or little things to sit on a bookshelf or something like that. But I don't feel like I have enough stuff on the walls directly. So I just thought this would go perfectly along with that other Halloween print that I found as well. Um, besides that, that was the only things I think I found at that thrift store, but there still is some other stuff I found. I found this um, Frankenstein at Goodwill. Hopefully I can insert that clip in right now. Here we go. And um, yeah, this guy is really, really cool. I'm not sure if he works or not. Uh, matter of fact, let me try and open him, y'all, fo folks. So let me get to doing that. You know what? Let me cut the camera for a second. I, I have just enough batteries for him to actually uh, start up and work, luckily for me, but he is quite strange. <laughs> So yes, quite the uh, odd Halloween decoration, I will say so myself. So uh, let me put him to the side, but yeah. Um, one of the other things I got, oops, sorry, almost dropped it, was uh, as you could, as you probably saw me take it off in the background of that last thing, was this bat. And I just thought this thing was really, really cool. I keep saying this, but I'm trying to build a little bat display of putting these guys on my ceiling. And I just think he looks really, really, really cool, man. Like, he, this is obviously an old school one. At least it looks like an old school bat. And I think this was about four something. It was like four dollars and some change with some taxes and probably like five bucks. So, but yeah, I thought this guy was really cool. He's definitely gonna go hanging on my ceiling. So, put that guy off to the side. And um, besides that, I bought this. I bought this thing, which is a little strange. I forgot that I got this, which is this um, Halloween trick or treat uh, candy holder. But it's of a witch, and it has like a little plastic thing, a plastic bag on the back. And, but for a buck, I was like, man, I'm just gonna hang this on the wall to be honest. Like this is really, really cool. I just like it. It looks like it would glow in the dark. At least is what I'd assume. And on the packaging on top, it looks like some of these have like some type of blood drip in it. So if this one did have that, it's probably all dried up by now, obviously. But yeah, I'll for sure be hanging this on the wall as well, not using as exactly what it says to do. But hey man, this thing is still really, really cool to me. So put that off to the side. And I don't think I have any footage as far as uh, me finding that thing. I wasn't really recording at that place, unfortunately. So yeah, uh, but at the same thrift store that I found that at, I also found um, this thing if I could get it untangled from another thing which is this other uh, just kind of 
uh, art piece, I guess you could say that I'm definitely also hanging up on the walls as well. So I have this uh, this little ghost with the crow next to it and the and the tombstone, which I really, honestly, I really just love this portion a whole lot more. This ghost looks pretty cool, but I definitely like this portion a bit more, just with the crow and the uh, tombstone. If it was up to me, I'd just have a couple of those <laughs> for this thing, but I thought it was pretty cool. And for $2.98, man, I couldn't complain, so I picked that guy up. Um, besides that, y'all, I think I have uh, two things left. Let me grab them for y'all. Um, which... And you guys can't even see it fully on camera because of how tall it is. Let me try and uh, stable you guys up a little bit more. But this witch, which is similar to the... Uh, if you guys have been watching my channel for a minute, there's a Dracula I bought a minute ago or vampire. I would assume it's Dracula, but whatever. Um, and it was very similar to this in the same style. So it doesn't have any batteries in it currently. I'll probably put some in in just a second. But this thing just looks really, really cool though. And kind of creepy in a way, just the way they did her face. The really long nose and the wart, obviously. Got the little broom in her hand, which looks a little... <laughs> One thing I guess I could complain about, this broom does not look like she's gonna be flying around on that. That's all I'm gonna say. Like you was not flying around on that with your big ass, bruh. Also, I really like how they did the little patches down here of the uh, like different freaking uh, clothing. You can just tell she just patched whatever holes she has in it. Her little cape has like orange on the inside as well, which is really cool. But, uh, and it also has a little bit of orange on the hat, obviously. But uh, yeah, let me try and get some batteries in there and we'll see what she does actually. I got her working and interesting enough, um, she does the exact uh, same sound effect as the vampire actually, which hold on, I can't seem to find her trigger again. Here we go. So she can do the ghost howling over and over, or you can just have it with the lights on. I'm assuming she used to do some type of movement, but the movement just died over time, which is fine with me. I think the noise on its own is really cool enough. But the main reason I say she does the same as Dracula is hopefully I can insert the clip in, but she looks almost in the exact same pose as that Dracula and does literally the exact same sound effect. So hopefully I insert it right now. Y'all, uh, besides that, y'all, uh, besides that, y'all, god damn. The fuck is up with my vocabulary today? I keep stuttering. My bad, y'all. I got this little, uh, this little, like, dog uh, headdress, which I thought would go cute with my dog, because I always think he has the, the first style of, uh, or color, I should say, of a, of a lion, and, and this is, like, a little headdress lion thing. It's a real simple costume, so for sure we're gonna be getting some pictures of him, of him in this. There's like two other costumes I bought recently as well, or in previous videos that I really need to get them to dress up as in too. Uh, so probably sometime this week, I'm gonna get them in all those Last costumes. The final thing I got here, folks, is this, uh, this NECA actually um, play, what I forget what it's called. It's like the ultimate expansion pack or something like that. And it was at a thrift store and I was really surprised. At first I was just wondering why they had just a coffin, but then I realized what it was and I bought it almost immediately. I was like, yeah, I'm definitely getting this. In case you guys don't know, basically uh, NECA came out with some uh, Dracula figure of, uh, based off the Bela Lugosi uh, version. And um, essentially they put out this, they put out packs for these movies uh, for basically to put your figures with, but it doesn't actually come with the figure. And there's, at times a little pricey to me and I was able to find it obviously here for five bucks and I was just like yeah I'm definitely going with this so obviously you got this little armadillo this little possum which is really funny and um, this big relatively big spider considering the action figure that this is meant for and obviously the coffin itself plus I think it also comes with if I'm not wrong what's in here it is the Yes, the backdrop, which looks really, really cool. So, you know, if you want to do some photography, this is definitely really, really cool to have. I'm glad that they made it kind of black and white because I have the black and white figures. So this is really, really cool. Um, but besides that, folks, I think that's all we got for today. So really quickly, let's uh, wrap this I video up. This, this far, Jesus. 
Um, just wanted to say thank you for watching and uh, please like and subscribe. I'm trying to put out some more Halloween content every week as of now for all of October, obviously. Uh, I'm trying to pump out more videos than usual. So uh, at least two videos a week, maybe three sometimes. So uh, stick around if you're interested in that. And if you're interested in more Halloween videos in the style, go back and watch my other videos, man. There's one that I think I did a minute ago that was like already in in September. I've been Halloween hunting since September, basically. So yeah, man, uh, check those videos out and uh, let's get to me putting this stuff up. Oh, <laughs> oh,